if you were the minister of education, let's just say, in any country. <laughs> yes. How is history likely to be taught, quote unquote, or told, or spread around to your public? I would still, of course, teach also national history. People need to know the history of their nation. But I would make two changes. First, I would add also a substantial attention to global history. Yes, you learn the history of your nation, but you learn the history of the whole of humankind. Because the whole of humankind is much bigger and older than your nation. No nation that exists today existed 5,000 years ago. Even the oldest nations, like the Chinese or the Jewish nation, the did not. Yeah. And before that, you had hundreds of thousands of years of history without these nations. Okay. So we need global history. And also, I would teach the history of your nation, but without uh, ignoring the dark side. Every nation, like every person, has a dark part to their story. It's only children and childish adults who believe that I'm perfect. I never did anything wrong. I'm always the victim. Other people are always to blame. That's a child's attitude. And unfortunately, very often in education, in history, this is the version that children are taught about national history. Our nation was always perfect. It was always the fault of, of others. Mm -hmm. And whenever you do, we did something wrong, you, you hide it. Yeah. So no, a great people is a people who knows the truth about its own past, mm -hmm. including the dark side. This is how you grow. It's, you know, like a person, a person who can't acknowledge the wrong things that I did in my life yeah. or in my relationships. I won't be able to, boo, to be a full person and to, and to grow from that.